Welcome to this tutorial on standard quality assurance procedures for computed tomography. First, we will describe the measurement of computed tomography dose index, or CTDI. You will need a 32 cm diameter PMMA body phantom and a 16 cm diameter PMMA head phantom. You will also need a 100 mm pencil ionization chamber, its power supply and readout unit. Make sure your measurements are traceable to a primary standard. Remove the headpiece of the couch. Remove the patient mattress. Place the body phantom on the couch. Make sure the couch and phantom main axis are parallel. Move the table towards the gantry center. Switch on the alignment lasers. Insert the PMMA rods in the peripheric holes, leaving the center hole empty for the ionization chamber. Align the phantom with gantry center using the lasers. Adjust the table height to center the phantom. For the head phantom, place the head holder on the table. Place the phantom in the holder. Insert the rods and align with gantry lasers. For a better view of the lasers, use a paper sheet. Set the zero landmark of the couch. To measure the volume CTDI, use following parameters. Sequential or axial scan type. Tube revolution time of 1 second. Manual current around 2 or 300 milliamp. Tube voltage of 120 kV. Irradiate during one single revolution per chamber position and report the primary beam collimation at isocenter. Measure the dose with chamber in the center, north, east, south, and west of the phantom. The volume CTDI is obtained by adding one third of the center dose and two thirds of the average periphery dose, dividing the total by the nominal beam collimation, and multiplying everything by 100. For beams with widths at ISO center over 40 mm, use a system for free in air CTDI measurement. Align the pencil chamber with gantry center. The CTDI will be measured free in air for a reference collimation, for example 40 mm, and the broad beam over several chamber lengths. The reference CTDI will also be measured in its reference phantom. The broad beam CTDI is obtained by multiplying the small beam reference CTDI by the ratio of the free in air CTDIs of the broad and small beams. We will now look at the measurement of beam collimation. For this, you will need a strip of self-developing Gafchromic XRCT film. Place a radiotransparent foam on the table. Place the film along the main table axis. Align the strip with the Z-axis laser. Align the strip 0 with gantry center.
adjust table height to place the strip at ISO center. Coronal lasers should illuminate the strip sides. Set the zero landmark of the couch. The irradiation of the gaffchromic strip is similar to CDDI measurement, axial or sequential scan type, tube revolution time of 1 second, manual current around 2 or 300 milliamp, tube voltage of 120 kV, irradiate or one single revolution. Here you see an example of an irradiated gaffchromic strip for nominal beam widths of 1.25 mm and 40 mm. We will now measure the Huntsville units in water. You will need the manufacturer device for phantom positioning and the manufacturer quality assurance phantom. Each CT is delivered with its own QA phantom. Place the phantom holder in its position. Place the phantom in the holder. Align the phantom with the gantry lasers. Set the zero landmark of the couch. Perform a lateral and or posterior anterior scanogram. Measure the average Huntsville unit value using appropriate software, such as ImageJ. We will now manipulate the CatFan series phantoms. You will need a CatFan or Mita Phantom, its box that is fully part of the setup, and the spirit level. Place the Phantom box at the edge of the table. Open the lid of the box. Take out the phantom and hang it on the box side. To set the pitch axis, place the spirit level on the phantom. Use the screws to raise or lower pitch angle. Align the top white spots with the main axis laser. Align the side spots with the coronal lasers. Move the table to the desired position. Set the zero landmark of the couch. Perform a lateral and or posterior anterior scanogram. Let us describe the CatFan 600 modules. Each module center is marked with a white marker. Sensitometry, slice thickness and low contrast objects. Beads for slice thickness and single beads for modulation transfer function. High contrast spatial resolution pattern. Low contrast resolution rods. And uniformity control. Finally, we will describe the manipulation of the QRM series phantoms.
You will need an anthropomorphic phantom with low contrast insert and a wooden plank of low density. Place the plank on the table edges. Place the phantom on the plank. Align the phantom axis with the sagittal laser. Adjust table height to center the phantom. Align the phantom with gantry center. Set the zero landmark of the couch. Perform a lateral or at least a posterior anterior scanogram. Use the QRM phantom for image quality assessment. We thank you for your attention and hope this video tutorial has proven helpful for your daily practice.